Beloved in Christ, Christ is risen, indeed he is risen. When the risen Lord appeared to his disciples in the upper room, the doors being shut for fear of the Jews, both his greeting and their reaction might seem strange to us. After speaking peace to them, Christ immediately showed them the wounds of the cross, rather than hiding his past suffering and emphasizing his present glory. He drew their attention to the very thing that had provoked their fear. The disciples also reacted unexpectedly upon seeing his scars rather than cringing or looking away. They were glad when they saw the Lord. When we celebrate Pascha, it is tempting to forget the cross, to simply rejoice in eternal life and reconciliation with God and put Holy Week behind us. But this forgetfulness is not only a theological mistake, it is also an unhelpful denial of the fact of a human suffering. The cross did not do away with suffering. To this day, violence, disease, toil, and poverty leave scars on our bodies. And hatred, prejudice, betrayal, and loss leave scars on our souls. This past year, we have seen a great suffering in our world. COVID-19 has taken millions of lives. Public health measures have driven up unemployment, poverty, loneliness, and depression. Injustice and civil unrest have sparked fear and anger. Suffering is a reality that cannot be denied, but the cross and resurrection of Christ have shown us a redemptive way to pass through it. The cross's uniqueness is not found in the sufferings Christ endured. Many people throughout history have endured comparable brutality. Rather, it is found in the Savior's persistent love of God and neighbor in the midst of that suffering. Although he knew those sufferings were coming and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down, he nevertheless prayed faithfully to the Father, not my will, but thine be done. And even as he hung on the cross, he prayed for his tormentors, Father, forgive them. He met every evil with unchanging love and faithfulness and so destroyed the power of evil. This is why the disciples were glad to see Christ's scars, the marks of the nails and the gash in his side were evidence that he had passed through every human suffering and emerged undefeated. They continue to be proof that righteousness endures forever. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us today draw renewed strength from our Savior's scars. We have endured hardship in the year that is past, and we will endure hardship in the year that is coming. Nevertheless, if we follow our Savior's path of persistent love, we will find Paschal joy on the other side of each and every trial. Wishing you abundant joy in the resurrection, I remain. Christ is risen, Al-Masih Qat.